Good day. Today we're going to be creating some very simple uh, animations using GIMP. Let's check it out. Let's get started. Okay, our first thing is uh, you're going to have GIMP open. Do a file new. And for our size, we're going to start out here. We're going to do 468 by 200. Okay, so we want to make it wider uh, than it is uh, taller. So 468 by 200. So click on OK. All right, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to do a simple sort of thing. It's just basically going to be a just a, a quick sentence, okay? I'm not going to be doing anything too, too crazy. However, you will be doing something cool, much cooler. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I've got this white background here. I'm going to, I want to have uh, Father Flem is awesome. I want to have that be like sort of a banner. So what I'm going to do is, so I've got my blank thing here. So I'm going to go ahead here select my text tool and for my size I'm gonna set it to start off change my font change it to something bold okay uh, and then the size I have my size at 59 uh, you can do something around there and then I also disable hinting okay for my color I'm just gonna keep it black you can make it cooler okay now so we got that part done so let's go ahead so the first thing is I'm going to do the Father Flem part. Father Flem, okay. So the one thing you're going to notice here is this, is that I've now got two layers, okay. I've got the text layer and the background layer. That's not exactly what I want for now, but it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually, I'm going to duplicate that background layer, okay. And let's move that up then. Okay, so right now I should have three layers. Okay, copy of my background, Father Flem, and then that original background layer. Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to, on Father Flem, make sure it's got that tech, that first text layer you have. I'm going to merge that down to that first background. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just do a control click on it and go to uh, merge down merge down okay so right now I have I should have two layers one just a white background and the other one a sort of uh, a white background with the word Father Flem on it if I hide that top layer I've got Father Flem okay great so I'm gonna hide that Father Flem thing I'm gonna go to select my copy there and now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unhide that. And for this text, I'm going to put is. Okay, I'm going to center that up. Is. So that's in the center now. Okay, again, we're good to go. So I'm going to make a copy of that background layer, that white background. Move it up. And again, I'm going to merge that text layer down so right click or control click go to merge down okay so I'm gonna hide that layer now we're on our last layer here we'll last a uh, sort of background layer go ahead again I'm gonna say awesome awesome okay go back to our layers let's merge awesome down Merge that down, and so we should have three layers now. Each layer is going to have a different thing. Father Flem is an awesome. Okay, so you got to think of animation as different sort of frames. Okay, and in this case, we're going to be using our layers as frames. So I'm going to do something just real simple. Uh, I'm going to add a kind of a background here. A second. So let's go ahead. And for each one of these, let's add a, a gradient. Let's see how this gradient comes out. Let's see if it covers the text. Um, so let's see this a second here. Let's see if it covers the text when I do this. Because it might. Do a random one. Yeah, so we're not going to do that. Let's see if we do a paint bucket here. Let's just do a cool thing here. Green. There we go. So we can do some interesting things. So I'm going to add a background to each of my layers. 
do green here for that one. Let's do blue for this one. And then finally for this last one. Let's move that. Okay. Let's do this for this color. We'll do a uh, red. Deep red. Okay. So we are almost done here. So right now I've got three layers, red, blue, green. So what I'm going to do then is I need to make duplicates of each, of each layer. We'll say about two duplicates of each. So make two, the t three total of my third frame, three total of that frame, three total of this frame. So now I have three copies of each layer. I'll actually just unhide them all a second and reveal them. Okay. Now, here's what the most important part we got to do. We got to go to filters, uh, animation, optimize for GIF. Okay. That's going to optimize our sort of thing. There we go. So it just made a new sort of canvas for us. Then we're going to go here to filters. Animation, playback, let's watch it. So let's see where we go. Father Flem is awesome. Father Flem is awesome. Father Flem is awesome. Sweet. Okay. So what we're going to do then is after we've done, you know, played it back, made sure it looks okay, do file, save as, and we're going to call this. This is going to be new. We're going to call it just, um, uh, let's call it animation dot. G I F G I F. Okay, save that to your desktop. All right, let's put that in our desktop. Animation dot G I F. Okay, save it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be where it says here the GIF plugin can only handle layers as animation frames. Save as an animation, okay? And then for this one, keep it at that convert to in index using default settings. Make sure you save that, save as animation. So we export that, okay? And we can keep it looped there. You know, just keep, keep that there, save it. So let's check that out now. So there's our, here's our animation. Let's check it out. Okay, and you can see there's all three of our our frames. Okay, so uh, good luck with yours. I look forward to